I'd like to demonstrate the MSR tibial nerve release protocol. Now, if we think of the tibial nerve, it's basically an, a continuation of the sciatic nerve. As the sciatic nerve comes down, it bifurcates at the back of the knee, and one branch being the uh, tibial nerve as it descends. So we're going to start out with uh, nerve flossing. Our goal is to create hip flexion, knee extension, dorsiflexion of the foot, and then at end range we're going to get eversion of the foot. So we're going to bend your knee there slightly in the heat. Nice uh, double thumb contact, and we're going to create some superior tension as we're doing this. So using my hip to create some movement, there we go. So as you can see, Mickey is also extending her head at the very top of this motion there. That's going to create a nerve glide. So once again, we're flexing the hip, extending the knee. We're going to dorsiflex the foot and then create some eversion. Good. Okay, just a couple more passes here. Coming in, good, extend the knee there, dorsiflex the foot, evert, and she's extending her neck as you can see. Good, and now one more. So we're coming through, maintaining that superior tension with my thumbs. And this is where you can really feel the nerve. Once we create tension, you can feel that nerve just kind of pop out underneath your uh, thumb contacts there. Feels like a piece of, as Brian often says, linguini. Al dente linguini. Good. Okay. Nice. So now we're going to have the uh, patient go prone. So you can go uh, face down. Perfect. Yep. Okay. And so in this position, in the proximal area of the calf here, the uh, tibial nerve, as it courses down, you'll be able to palpate it between the muscle bellies of the uh, tibialis posterior and the flexor digitorum longus. As we get further down into the distal calf and move slightly medially, that nerve actually goes between the flexor digitorum longus and flexor hallucis longus. It then wraps around behind the medial malleolus, coming underneath the uh, flexor retinaculum here. And once it hits the arch of the foot, it'll split into two nerves, the uh, medial and lateral plantar nerves. So we're gonna use a forearm contact. We're gonna kind of get to the tissue depth that we want. And it's gonna be a combination of uh, multiple treatment vectors here. So we're dorsiflexing the foot as we pronate our forearm to create a superior tension. We're going to maintain that superior tension and foot dorsiflexion, and then we're going to start to incorporate rotation of the foot and ankle. So as we do that, you can really feel the muscle fibers kind of move back and forth underneath your forearm contact. And what we're trying to do is to break up some of the restrictions that will potentially uh, entrap the tibial nerve. Doing okay there, Mickey? Oh yeah. So now moving slightly more medial. You can really feel that there. <laughs> yeah. So the key here is maintain dorsiflexion of the foot and superior tension with the forearm. And then while you're maintaining those two vectors, you start to incorporate some ankle and foot rotation. Good. And do one more here. There we go. Good. Okay, now as we approach the, the distal uh, region here, we're gonna have uh, Mickey change position. So have you lie on your left side there. Perfect, so now this will allow us to access the tibial nerve as it comes down behind the medial malleolus and underneath the uh, retinaculum here. So I'm gonna create a couple of movements here. We're gonna have you bend your knee slightly. So you're starting in knee flexion. We're going to extend the knee, dorsiflex the foot, and then we're going to evert like that. Perfect. Okay, so we're starting again. So you're going to use a double thumb contact at the retinaculum here. Now we're extending the knee, dorsiflexing the foot, and then eversion. Well, I create a superior tension just right behind the medial malleolus and along the flexor retinaculum there. Good. Okay, back. Let's do that again. We're extending the knee, 
dorsiflexing the foot, so an eversion, and then superior tension. Good. Okay, and one last one here. Okay, so we're extending, dorsiflex, evert, and superior. Good. Okay. So now, once we've gone through all those different stages of the protocol, we're going to go back to the initial position. So I'll have you lay on the opposite side. And we're going to reinforce some of the changes we've made and help floss that nerve through to get uh, more glide and, and to free up any restrictions that still may be there. So we're going to come through and extend your foot, or your knee, sorry, dorsiflex and evert. Good. I'm actually going to change a little bit. It's nice if you can kind of rest the patient's foot right up against your hip there and then you can help reinforce some of those movements. So you're going to bend a little. Okay, so we're coming up. Now dorsiflex and evert and bring your head back. Perfect. Good. Just one more here. Okay, so flexing the hip, extending the knee, dorsiflexing the foot, eversion, and neck extension. Perfect. Good. You actually feel quite a difference yeah. there. It's moving That's a lot a easier. Big difference, yeah. yeah. So just a great protocol to release an entrapped tibial nerve.